what's going on Beowulf Nation <laughs> it's I'm Beowulf back at it with another video it's a Kawasaki SXR 1500 if you haven't checked out the I am Beowulf merch at IamBeowulf.com you can find the cool hats tank top t-shirts all right let's get this video going so past videos I installed the R&D Sponsons I haven't been really happy with them I've wanted more adjustments I'm actually gonna be putting these things up for sale and um, I got a whole bunch of parts to this thing. Um, but I basically picked up the Reva Racing Sponsons, which is more adjustments. You can move them um, forward and back. So if you want to see how you take off the stock ones, uh, obviously go back to past videos because uh, it's kind of it's completely different. So first I'm going to do is pop off the R&D ones and put in the Reva Racing ones. Straight forward, you're going to loosen the screws to this. So I got that pulled off. Now the next step is to get this removed. All right, so I removed those off. Now the next step is putting a plate on. The plate on now, as you can see from the past one, how farther forward it went. Um, and it's, so it's a little bit smaller in size, but the cool thing is you can move the sponson forward or back, up and down, so you can really fine tweak the handling. And, Let's see if we can get a Let's see what's the other paddle. Alright, so we got kind of showed you guys the size difference. It's actually pretty crazy. So it's basically a lot smaller of uh, a sponson than what the RNG one is. The RNG one's like really big so the next step is let's install this in instructions they recommend having it in the far back the highest up position I'm gonna have it in the far back but in the middle position and then play around with that the next time riding I want to try having it all the way down and have it all the way forward and just playing around with the ski what all happens and I'm not sure if we can kind of see well, you can see how much more. Mm, I'm trying to get a perfect angle of seeing. I mean, you can kind of see what the R and D one is doing here, and then what the Reva Racing one is doing. There are certain places this road really nice, but here at Intercoastal, it was a little bit harder. Gonna finish up the rest. It's all gonna be in this video. I have uh, two new puppies and before it gets dark, I wanna go take them for a walk. So it's gonna go quickly go jet and then finish this whole entire video. The first walk of these three at once. This is, this is, my hand is like a uh, leash is tangled. It's just, we're just trying to keep motion of moving. What do you think Ragna, Pike, Willie? But here's the best way to see the size comparison. They're opposite size, but you can obviously see the difference in the plate design. Got a little cord messing there. Uh, but this one's obviously a lot longer. And then the shocking thing is it's so long, but you really don't have a lot of adjustment. It barely moves that much forward. You can obviously see the difference in the size of the Sponson. This paddle is a lot bigger. This one's a lot smaller. This one, I have to say, is actually really big. You don't realize how big it is until you compare it to like something like this. And uh, it basically fits into the size of what the other um, Sponson is. It's pretty crazy. So basically the cool thing is, this is the best way to see it without having it installed on the ski. So you basically have this Sponson, I think would be, let's line up the holes. I think you'd have it right there. And then I think, I think there's multiple, so I think you can put it like right there, you know, right there. So I think there's like, looking at it is it's, you got this hole there, and you move it there, it would be right there. So you got three positions to move forward and back, three positions to move up and down. So you definitely got a lot of play 
with the little paddle um, with doing that. I think this could really help fix um, the issue and have more adjustments so there's more to play with. This, there's basically forward and back and that's it. And I noticed when I went to different places, it really made it harder to steer with it. And um, definitely I think this might fix it because basically, um, let's get it a, I'm trying to get it where you see the size of the two. So basically, because no matter what, this one's sticking more, I think even in the lower position, this one's still sticking farther down in the water than what you could do the lowest position with this. I just think the problem maybe with this is the paddle is just, it's just too big. I don't know. It's too bad this one didn't have a lot more adjustments to move it more around than what it was, but it's what it is. I think this one's a better way. I should have done this from the start, um, but I'm gonna be selling these and I think it looks better being all black. Um, what I'm planning on maybe doing with this uh, sometime soon is hydro dipping this carbon fiber, black carbon fiber I'm thinking. Um, I did on this other Reva Racy one, I did snake skin. And then on my GPM, or on my uh, RXPX, I mean, I did the purple carbon fiber to match the seat. So I did the snake skin on the GP, purple carbon fiber. And I'm thinking doing black. And then when I do the black, I'll have them do over the billet pieces there. I think they did a limited production where this was the billet was in green matching the seat. And then the, this piece was in green. But I think I'm going to leave this black just because I actually think it really blends in with the ski. Um, but this basically gives you an idea of what we're running with. I think it's cool playing around with different stuff. This has the most adjustments. Work Racing sells one that's similar. It only can go up and down. It doesn't have all these adjustments. And then when I saw some of the other ones out there, they're, I think a little bit more money. It didn't have the adjustments of moving it. They can move them forward and back, but they didn't have the adjustments of moving them um, up and down. And I thought that was crucial of playing with, uh, trying to figure out what works the best with the current. So maybe seeing these ones are so far down, because um, these are a huge difference than what the stock ones were. So I'm thinking maybe this will fix some of the issues going on, seeing that the sponsor is so deep in the water. I thought farther to the down would make it better, but actually seeing that it's already so far down, you can't really play with it going up and down with it. So definitely this can make a difference. So let's remove the, um, this side. Again, reversing what we did with the other one. I'm loosen these. These screws. I did like though, one thing is this silver seemed really matched the silver there. I think that's what they were going with when they came out with those. So remember to use blue Loctite on these bolts. And uh, next part is to put the sponson on. Man, does that look sharp now. Definitely gonna be fun taking this out on the next next ride. So the next couple of things I got gonna be installing is briefly racing cells, these handlebars. Um, let's see how it be. It'll be like like so. And then I got the grips and you know a bunch of different stuff. So definitely gonna be installing those. Uh, it's the next mod. And um I got these buoys too. It's gonna be hard holding those things out when you're out on this. <laughs> More with the, the sit down uh, jet skis. So, crazy thing too, uh, by the time the video is up or not, I actually will be selling my uh, GP1800R with the Trino Elite trailer and the RXPX is separate for sale, not with the trailer. So who knows when this video is up, I might still have them or I sold them. Uh, this is my baby. These two are my favorite, but from what I'm hearing is some crazy stuff going on with Yamaha. There's the 20, uh, 2021 Yamaha Superjet Four Stroke coming out that I'm going to add to the collection uh, to do real good comparison between the Kawasaki um, SXR 1500. And definitely I'm liking this thing. This thing, this ski is a lot of fun and it's cool just playing around, tweaking, uh, trying to figure out what works the best. Also too, I just picked up um, Jet Tribe just came out with a cover for this, so make sure you check out Jet Tribe. Awesome cover, and uh, that will be a whole video showing how that is. 
It's pretty cool because it came with this whole um, custom uh, carrying bag, which is really nice. And uh, obviously that's not the ski on there, but uh, definitely it looks like a really, really nice cover. I don't want to open it all up yet until I'm ready to put it on, but it has a nice, nice cover to have this on. I keep it with the spring up uh, just to take stress off of it. And I always have a trickle charger on it too. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, existing subscribers hit the bell notification. If you haven't already hit the like button, greatly appreciate it. Helps the videos get more traffic hitting the like button. Uh, be driven to win. Make sure you check out the I am Beowulf merchant, I am Beowulf.com. Also do I have an Amazon store, amazon.com slash shop slash I am Beowulf. Make sure to check that out. Be driven to win. Remember every day's Earth Day. Peace out, Beowulf Nation. <laughs>